Hey guys, what's going on? Garenax here bringing you another video on Genshin Impact. We are less than a week away from 1.2 update and as we know, Albedo's banner will be coming right on the first day of 1.2 update which is on 23rd of December. So in this video, let's take a look at Albedo's skill kit and how to build him. Albedo is a 5 star geo character that uses a sword. These are his base stats. Comparing him to other 5 star sword users, he has the 3rd highest base attack. First is Keqing and second is Titi, and he has the second highest base defense. First is Titi. His ascension stats is Geo Damage Bonus, and you need Cecilia and also the Hilicho Scrolls to ascend him. His normal attack performs up to five rapid strikes, and he has a charge attack and a plunging attack, just like every other character. And these are his multipliers. He has the lowest normal attack multiplier when compared to other five star sword users. So the very first impression is that he's not suitable to be the main DPS if you already have the other 5 star sword users. If you want him to be a main DPS, you will need significantly more resources to compensate for the lower multiplier. His elemental skill Solar Isotoma. Albedo creates a Solar Isotoma using Alchemy which deals AoE Geo damage on appearance. This is the elevator that we saw from the trailer. When you first summon the elevator, it deals AoE Geo damage. Well, of course, imagine having an elevator smash onto your head. The Solar Isotoma has the following properties. When enemies within the Solar Isotoma field takes damage, the Solar Isotoma will generate transient blossoms, which deals AoE Geo damage. The damage dealt scales with Albedo's defense. The transient blossoms can only be generated once every 2 seconds. So the scale lasts for 30 seconds, so that's a maximum of 15 times of AoE Geo damage from this. When a character is located at the locus of the Solar Isotoma, the Solar Isotoma will accumulate Geo power to form a crystallized platform that lifts the character up to a certain height. Only one crystallized platform can exist at a time. So that's the elevator. Only one Solar Isotoma created by Albedo can exist at a time and it is considered a Geo construct. Hold to designate the location of the skill. So the elevator will resonate with Zhongli's pole to deal more AoE Geo damage. So they might have some pretty good synergies there. These are the multipliers for the skill. So when you drop the elevator, it's 130% and whenever you deal damage to the monsters, the Blossom will deal another 94% of Albedo's defense. So throughout the entire skill duration, we can potentially deal 15 times of this damage and that's potentially 1422% damage based on Albedo's defense just from this effect alone. And the skill cooldown is only 8 seconds, so we can keep this up all the time for the extra damage. His elemental burst tectonic type. Under Albedo's command, Geo Crystal Surge and Burst Forth, dealing AoE Geo damage in front of him. If a solar isotoma created by Albedo himself is on the field, 7 fatal blossoms will be generated in the solar isotoma field, bursting violently into bloom and dealing AoE Geo damage. Tectonic type damage and fatal blossom damage will not generate transient blossom. So he would deal damage in front of him and if you have the elevator active, he will generate 7 flowers within the field and deal AoE Geo damage as well. So these are the multipliers. He has the same energy cost and cooldown as Ningguang and Zhongli, so we can expect that his burst is pretty spammable as well. Take note that up until this point, the only thing that scales with his defense is the transient blossom. I believe everything else should be scaling with his attack. His first passive, when Albedo crafts the weapon ascension materials, he has a 10% chance to receive double the product. His second passive, transient blossoms generated by the elevator, deals 25% more damage to opponents whose HP is below 50%. And his third passive, using tectonic tight, increases the elemental mastery of nearby party members by 125 for 10 seconds. Now looking at his constellation, his C1, Transient Blossoms generated by Albedo's elevator, regenerates 1.2 energy for Albedo. Now since this is a C1 effect, I would assume that a C0 Albedo would not be able to regenerate energy from the Blossom effect, so we might potentially see the same problem as Zhongli. His C2, Transient Blossoms generated by the elevator, grants Albedo Fatal Reckoning for 30 seconds. Each stack of Fatal Reckoning increases damage by 30% of Albedo's defense. The effect stacks up to 4 times. Unleashing the Tectonic Tide consumes all stacks of Fatal Reckoning, increasing the damage dealt by the Tectonic Tide and the Fatal Blossoms based on the number of stacks consumed. So that's potentially a 120% increase in damage based on his defense for his burst. 
C3 increases the level of the elevator by 3, maximum upgrade level is 15. C4, the elevator increases plunging attack damage by 30% for active party members within the AoE. I guess the elevator is really meant for you to go up and do plunge attack. His C5 increases the level of Tectonic type by 3, maximum upgrade level is 15. And his C6, if active party members within the AoE field are protected by a shield created by Crystallized, the elevator increases their damage by 17%. Great synergy there for retracing Blight users. Overall, I feel that Albedo is a damage support. He will not be providing any offensive elemental reactions since he is a Geo character, but his skill kit has a lot of damage over time. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the correct term to use, but essentially you can pull out his skill and burst, then switch to your main DPS. And while your main DPS is dishing up damages, you still enjoy those extra damages done by Albedo's skill. And it's a pretty long duration and has a permanent uptime. So I think he's pretty cool to have to deal extra damage. For artifacts, I believe he works really well with the 4-piece Archite Petra. The 2-piece effect increases his damage from the Transient Blossoms, and the 4-piece effect is great when you are fighting elemental monsters like Slimes, because then your whole party will gain additional elemental damage bonus for that particular element. However, if you are mostly fighting neutral monsters like Helichos, you will need to apply the element first before you can take advantage of the 4-piece effect. Now, if you think this is too troublesome and you just want a build that suits every scenario, then you can go with a 2-piece Archite Petra and a 2-piece Gladiator. Now, this way you'll get a 15% Geo damage bonus and an 18% attack. For stats, you want to look for attack percent or defense percent on the timepiece, Geo damage bonus on the goblet, and attack percent or defense percent or crit rate or crit damage on the headpiece. At this point, we don't know if attack will scale better or defense will scale better. So try not to pre-upgrade the artifacts yet. Let other content creators test them and figure out which one is better before you invest into artifacts. For substats, you want to look for attack percent, defense percent, crit rate, crit damage, and energy recharge. For weapons, I believe the best weapon for Albedo will be the Festering Desire, which is the free 4-star sword that we can get from the event in 1.2. It has an energy recharge as a secondary stats, and it increases your elemental skill damage and your elemental skill crit rate. Other than this, I don't think the rest of the weapons are useful to him for this playstyle. You could try for Vonis Sword. It has an energy recharge as the secondary stats as well, but I highly doubt that the effect will actually work when you just place the elevator and switch him out. If you really want to play Albedo as the main DPS, I would still probably go for the same build, because his normal attack multiplier is really low and the transient blossom multiplier is relatively high in comparison. So I believe his main source of damage will still come from his elevator instead. However, this opens up his options for weapons. You can take any of the usual DPS swords like the Aquila Favonia, the Flute, the Black Sword, Prototype Ranker, or the Black Cliff Longsword. All of these are viable for a main DPS playstyle. However, I still believe he is more suitable as a damage support. For team comp, he really works in any team since a Geo character doesn't have any offensive elemental reactions with other elements. But as mentioned earlier, his elevator is a Geo construct, so Zhongli can take advantage of this pretty well. At this point, we don't know how's the interaction between Zhongli's pole and the Transit Blossom yet. If every pulse of damage from Zhongli's pole actually triggers the Transit Blossoms, the two of them could pair really well in a damage over time team. So with the information we have as of now, this is how I would build Albedo. Of course, all these can become irrelevant if Mihoyo decides to change anything upon the release of the character. And also, after testing him further when he is released, you might find builds that work better for him. So take this build as a reference or a starting point and work towards your ideal build for him. Join my Discord if you wish to discuss more about Albedo or the game in general, link will be in the description below. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for today, take care and have a great day ahead.